Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be filming a very exciting video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of my tips and my advice for starting a YouTube channel. If you guys aren't familiar with my whole YouTube journey and when I started and all of that, I started YouTube back in 2013. Obviously YouTube was very different back then. Then I took a couple breaks and obviously now I'm back, but I've definitely learned a few things in those years, a few tips and tricks on how to grow your channel, expose it to more people and gain some views on your videos. So if that sounds interesting to you guys, then keep on watching. The first thing that I want to touch on is that if this is truly something that you are interested in and you want to pursue and that you really see yourself doing, you just need to block out everybody else's opinions and their criticism, anything like that. Obviously, this isn't like a traditional thing to do. It is obviously a lot more accepted than it was, say, when I first started back in 2013. I see a ton of people now starting YouTube channels that I never thought would. It's just becoming like a new trend and that's totally cool that people want to start because if you decide to start, it's gonna be a lot more accepted. But no matter how accepted it is, you have to remember that people are always going to have their opinions and their criticisms and you just need to remember to just block that out. Something that is super, super important is you don't need to go out and spend thousands and hundreds of dollars on equipment and a camera to begin with. I personally use the Canon Rebel T5i, but it's because I received this for Christmas. Like again, way back when, when I first started YouTube because I think I got this after like a year or so of doing YouTube. So my channel had grown and I had seen results and I was consistent and all that stuff. You really don't need like an expensive camera. You don't need expensive lenses. You don't need to go and buy the best equipment out there, especially when you're beginning, because you wanna see if this is something that is actually gonna be sustainable and that you're actually gonna follow through with. You don't wanna go out and buy a $600 camera and then three months down the line, think, eh, you know what, this whole YouTube thing isn't really working out, I don't wanna do this. So you just wanna save your money and just honestly use what you can. Um, when I first started, I literally used my iPad for months and months and months. Obviously I was able to grow my channel even just using my iPad. I also know so many people start YouTube or even have channels and continue using their phones. The new iPhones have great cameras, the front and back cameras are super good on them. So you really don't need to go out and buy a super expensive camera. Building off of that, you don't need the craziest editing software. There's so many options out there that are actually free to use. Um, I know all like Apple products, MacBooks come with iMovie and iMovie is actually a lot more advanced than it was a few years ago. Um, it actually has some good features and again you don't need to be doing any crazy editing especially when you're just starting your channel you just want to be able to connect with your audience and maybe you do want to do those crazy edits um, but again you don't want to invest in crazy software to begin with and then again a couple months down the line you decide that this isn't something you want to do so like I said iMovie is a super good one to use if you're just starting out I personally use Final Cut Pro it is around $300 so it is a bit on the pricey side but if you feel like it is an investment worth it, then I would say go for it. So if you don't know how to edit, there are so, so many videos out there that teach you how to edit on whatever editing software you are using. If that's iMovie or if that's Final Cut Pro or if it's any other software, there's so many tutorials and tips and tricks out there on how to edit. So honestly, just YouTube, Google, they'll be your best friends on teaching you how to edit. Recently, I've been getting a ton of messages and comments about how to actually grow your channel and gain subscribers and views. Obviously, everybody struggles with growing their channel, but one thing that I found super helpful is you want to obviously make videos that you enjoy. If you're not enjoying them, then your viewers are gonna be able to see straight through it. They're gonna be like, wow, like she was so bored while filming that. She totally wasn't into it. But you also want to look at the trends and videos that are popular at certain times and run with that. You want to make those videos in those times that those videos are super trendy because that's the way that other people are going to find your channel. So many YouTubers have had one video that's just kind of gained these extra couple hundred thousand views and their channel has completely blown up from it. For example, even the video I did on my channel, my What's on my iPhone video. What's on my iPhone videos are very popular for some reason and that is my most viewed 
video on my channel as of right now but there's also always trends going on including tiktok trends are doing super well right now before it was ordering what the person in front of me ordered those did really well you just want to keep your eye on trends you can easily do this by going into the description box seeing what other youtubers are currently posting but also going on your home page and just kind of seeing what reoccurring videos you see doing super duper well and if you enjoy those videos and want to make it yourself then i would say definitely do that so my next tip is consistency is key so you want to have a uploading schedule or you want to just establish a couple days a week or one day a week when you upload so right now i try to upload every five days which isn't concrete days of the week um but i am leaning towards starting a schedule i'm looking at doing wednesday and sunday so we'll see how that goes but if not i'm just trying to do every five days the thing with having a upload schedule and being consistent is it doesn't only allow your viewers to know when you're going to upload and expect to see your video popping up in their subscription box but it also aligns with the YouTube algorithm. And if YouTube sees you being super consistent, YouTube algorithm will pick up when you're gonna be uploading and it will push your videos out to more people, either on suggested pages or on the homepage. And this is ultimately what you want because then it will allow your channel and that video to gain more views. Working with the YouTube algorithm is so, so helpful and beneficial to your growth on YouTube. So if you guys want more videos on that, definitely just let me know down below but i have a ton of tips and tricks when it comes to working and kind of getting around the youtube algorithm but moving on to thumbnails thumbnails in my opinion are so 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 important just think about yourself if you're ever scrolling through your subscription box or your home page especially and you see a thumbnail that grabs your attention half the time you're not even reading the title of the video just because the thumbnail is grabbing your attention you are forced to click on that video when you're like hmm this looks interesting you want to make your thumbnails really stand out especially on the home page like i said because so many more people will find your video that way if you guys need some ideas on how to make thumbnails um, there are lots of free ways. You can use PicMonkey, which is a website. You can use Canva, which is another free website. I believe PicMonkey, you can do some things on free, but you do need a membership for the other ones. But also you can make thumbnails on your phone. This is personally what I've been doing and this is my favorite method out of them all. I do use a few different apps and stuff like that. But again, if you guys want a more in-depth video on how to make thumbnails on your phone, leave me a comment down below and let me know. But yeah, there are so many ways you don't need to be paying for thumbnails. I do think that having good thumbnails is a complete game changer. You want to have one that tons of people want to click on. You want to have a thumbnail that tons of people can click on. Even if you go into your YouTube analytics, you can see how many impressions the video has, which, which means how many times your thumbnail was shown to people. And then you can see your click-through rate, your CTR. And that is the percent of people that after seeing your thumbnail actually decided to click on that thumbnail and watch the video. All of this can be seen in your YouTube analytics. Again, for some reason, I'm completely obsessed with YouTube analytics. I'm obsessed with the whole business side and analytics side of YouTube. So I would love to do more videos about this for you guys. But yeah, that's just my little tip and trick. My last one, just building off of those analytics. This one, you guys game changer these are your tags and tags are basically the behind the scenes that you do on your end when you're uploading your video that your viewers do not see this is all again in the analytics side of youtube you want to be really strategic with these tags and keywords and you want to use certain keywords that again will allow people to find your youtube videos and then you can rank higher in the search which again, ultimately gives you more exposure and more views and all that good stuff. The tool that I personally use that is so, so helpful is called TubeBuddy. It's just a Chrome extension. Um, I'm sure you can get it on Safari, I'm not really too sure, but it's just a Chrome extension and you can you basically just add it to your browser and it basically helps you find tags that are going to be searchable and again, will get you higher in search, therefore, generating more views generating more subscribers and ultimately growing your channel more so that is the end of my video today guys i really hope that you did enjoy this and found these tips helpful and beneficial if you guys have any more questions regarding anything when it comes to youtube whether it's tags titles thumbnails youtube analytics definitely leave them in the comments down below or you can dm me on my instagram which is at amyhislop 
and I will definitely answer you guys. I would also love to film some more videos about this, so let me know how you enjoyed it below. If you guys are new here, definitely subscribe to see more videos coming up. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.